Hello! This video is a simple introduction to Adaptive Vision Studio environment. I would like to show you how to create your programs and run them. The first thing you need to do is to add a filter to the program. You can do it either by adding it from the task oriented toolbox or from the filter catalog which contains the whole library of filters. As an example, let's add the test image filter, which allows us to use one of the few available images for the testing purposes. You can add it from the image acquisition group in the toolbox, or from the image basics category in the filter catalog. If you know the name of the filter, you can search for it here. Now I'll add another filter. Let's say that we want to remove any noise from the image by smoothing it. For that purpose we need to add aptly named Smooth Image Filter. There is quite a few variants of this filter, but I'm going to choose the most common one, Mean. Ok, as you can see, the added filters have their inputs and outputs. By connecting them, we create the flow of data in the program. In our case, we need to connect mono image output of test image filter with image input of smooth image filter. When you start creating a connection, all ports compatible with the currently selected one will be highlighted. Once you have your filters added to the program, you can change their properties. To start doing this, you need to select one of the filters block. You can change the values in the properties either by entering it from the keyboard, selecting it from the combo box, or using special plugins for more complicated data types. It all depends on the type of data being edited. I'm going to change the radius x value now. Once all filters are connected and configured, you can execute the program. In order to see the results of filters execution, we need to use the preview panel. To display the data, simply drag filter port to one of the preview windows. If you wish to see the result of this program for different values of filter properties, you need to run it again. Instead of the normal execution, you can also use the option to run the program to the end of the iteration. This option doesn't stop the program after going through it. That's why we are able to see the updated results after every property change. Ok, these were just the very basics, but I hope they help you start using Adaptive Vision Studio.